Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to design a soccer poster and place the face and name of your favorite player in it. For this poster, I'm using the face and name of an amateur player, but you can use a soccer star or even yourself. In past tutorials, I showed how to distress an image to simulate age and weathering, so I won't go over that in this tutorial. I provided a Photoshop file for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. In it is this grass texture background, a diagram of a soccer field, and a soccer ball. This document is 14 by 21 inches with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. I'll click off the eyeballs of the ball and field to hide them and click on the background to make it active. Let's make a gradient over the grass that makes it darker at the top and gradually fades away. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer above the background. Open your gradient tool and click on the gradient box to open the gradient editor. Click on the foreground to transparent thumbnail and click OK. Go to the top and press and hold shift as you drag the gradient to approximately three quarters from the bottom. Change the blend mode to soft light. Make the diagram of the field visible and active. Double click it to open its layer styles. Click Color Overlay, the color box, and pick White. Reduce its opacity to 40%. Go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Go to a bottom corner and drag out to approximately 200% of its width. Then press Enter or Return to accept it. Press Ctrl T on a PC or Command T on a Mac to open the Transform tool again. Go to a corner and when you see a curved double arrow, rotate it to an angle you like. To reposition it, click inside the Transform and move it. Then press Enter or Return. Make the ball visible and active. Reposition it so some of the ball is cropped at the bottom and on the right. Let's make a selection of the inside of this hexagon to use as our layer mask to place our soccer player into. Open your magic wand tool. The tolerance can have any number in it since the ball's contrast is pure black and white. Check anti-alias and contiguous. Click inside the hexagon to make a selection of the inside shape. Checking contiguous limits the selection to just inside the borders of the shape as opposed to including all the white areas of the ball. Go to Select, Modify, and Expand. Expand it by two pixels. Save the selection by going to Select and Save Selection. Click OK. It's OK to delete the selection since we already saved it. Press Ctrl or Command D. Change the blend mode to soft light. Click on the FX button and choose stroke. Make the size 70 pixels, the position outside, and the blend mode overlay. Reduce the opacity to 20%, then click OK. We're ready to make a border that surrounds the edge of our poster. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer, and we'll fill it with any color. I'll fill it with black, and since black is our foreground color, I'll press Alt or Option plus Delete. Reduce its fill to zero. Click on the FX button and choose Stroke. Make the size 70 pixels and the position inside. Let's fuse the stroke with the layer itself. To do this, make a new layer and shift click on the border layer to highlight both layers. Press Ctrl or Command E to merge them. Change the blend mode of the border to overlay. We're ready to add the text. 
Open your type tool and choose a font. I'm using SF Hollywood Hills Regular. If you'd like to use it, you'll find it in the video's description or project files. If you're not sure how to install fonts, watch my tutorial on how to do this. I provided that link as well. The size is 390 points, smooth, left alignment, and the color is black. Type out your text. Click on your Move tool and open your Transform. Click inside to move it and rotate it around to an angle and position you like. Then press Enter or Return to accept it. Click on the FX button and choose Color Overlay. Click on the color box and pick a color you like. I'll use EA0D0D. Click Stroke and make the size 8 pixels, the position outside, the blend mode normal, and the opacity 60%. Click on the color box and choose White. In the Layers panel, click on the icon on the upper right corner and click Convert to Smart Object. You know it's a smart object when you see the icon in the lower right corner of the thumbnail. Change the Blend Mode to Overlay. Click on the FX button and choose Stroke. Pick White. The size is 3 pixels. The position is outside. The Blend Mode is Normal. And the Opacity is 62%. Let's set the text for the player's name. Open your type tool again, and this time I'll set the size to 378 points. Type out the name. Notice the names are overlapping. To increase or decrease the space or letting between the names, go to Window and Character. This opens the character window. Highlight the bottom line and go to the letting icon and drag it left or right until you're happy with the space between them. Open your Move tool and drag the name to the center. Open your Transform tool to rotate it to an angle you like. Then press Enter or Return. I want to slide the first name to the left. To do this I'll press T to open my Type tool and click just to the left of the first letter. I'll press and hold ALT or OPTION as I press the left arrow key on my keyboard. We can close the character window now. Click on the Name layer and the FX button. Choose Color Overlay and pick a color. I'll type in a taxi cab yellow. FFC000. I'll convert this layer to a smart object and change the blend mode to darker color. Click on the FX button and choose Stroke. Make the size 24 pixels, the position outside, the blend mode dissolve, and the opacity 70%. The next step is to add a colorful splat to the center of the poster. Make a new layer and open your custom shape tool. Open the shape window and click on the gear icon to open your list of shape presets. Choose Grime Vector Pack which was introduced in CS6. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop you won't see it, but you can choose another set in your list, or you can download a grunge brush set from a variety of online brush websites like BrushEasy.com. Once you click on your brush set, click OK to replace this set in the thumbnail window. I'll choose Grime 7 and click on the gear icon at the top. Make sure Define Proportions and From Center are checked. Choose Shape. If you're using CS5 or earlier, the Shape icon is the first one. Click on the Fill box and the Color Picker icon. 
I'm typing in 0A3910 for a dark green color. Click inside the hexagon and drag out the shape. Change the blend mode to vivid light. To hide the shape paths, press Ctrl or Command H. We're ready to add our soccer player. Open the photo. You will need to cut the head and shoulders out from its background by making a selection around it. I covered how to do this in many of my tutorials, so choose the method that's the easiest and most effective for you. The photo also should be large to get the results we want. If it's not, Change the image size by going to Image, Image Size, and then increase the pixels or inches as well as the resolution. Remove all the color by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. Ctrl click or Command click on the thumbnail to make a selection of its shape. If portions of your photo are a bit too dark or lack sufficient contrast like the face in this photo, Open your Dodge tool and invert the foreground and background colors by pressing on the curved double arrow icon or by pressing X on your keyboard. I'll use a brush size of 90 pixels, a hardness of 0%, the range is midtones, and the exposure is 100%. I'll brush over the face and neck to lighten the midtones and then I'll click on Highlights to lighten the lightest areas as well. Delete the selection and invert the colors so black is the foreground color. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the sketch folder and choose Halftone Pattern. I'll make the pattern type dot and the contrast is 50. The size number determines the size of your pattern. I'll choose a size of 7 and then click OK. To get your player into your soccer file, press V to open your move tool and drag it up onto the tab of the soccer file. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto your image and then release. If you want to resize it, just use your transform tool. Click on the FX button and choose Stroke. Click on the color box and pick White. Make the size 18 pixels, the position is outside, the blend mode is normal, and the opacity is 30 percent. The last step is to place our player inside the hexagon shape. We need to fuse the effect with the layer just as we did earlier with the border. Make a new layer, shift click on the figure, and merge the two layers into one. Open your channels panel and control click or command click on the slightly expanded hexagon shape that we saved earlier. This makes a selection of the shape. Open the Layers panel and click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask next to the player. Open your Pencil tool and making sure your foreground color is white, brush over the top of the head to erase the layer mask that's masking out that area. Have fun making your own custom soccer poster with your favorite player's photo and name or placing yourself or someone else as the star. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.